See, I would start spitting for y'all, but now I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> um, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> oh no, that's not me rapping. Uh, I would rap, but uh, you know this show is about you. It ain't about me. So, <laughs> um, how you guys doing out there? I hope you guys are doing wonderful, doing excellent. Uh, it's a fine Tuesday. Uh, let's see what time it is. It's six eleven, but to me it feel like three o'clock. That's how live I am. You know, I'm just feeling so good, man. I'm so glad that you guys took the time to tune in to Simeon TV Radio, uh, especially to you new viewers who's just now viewing this uh, radio show for the first time. You know, I want to thank you uh, for coming on and taking the time out of your day to hear what I got to say. You see that? You see how that rhymed? That rhymed in. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is a little bit about myself for you new listeners. Uh, my name is Simeon. Um, you know, I got this the, um, name Simeon TV, you know, when I was sitting in my room thinking of uh, my show name. Uh, and, you know, I was like, that sounds pretty catchy. You know, I have my name, Simeon, and then TV after. So, you Simeon TV. So, um, I've said it in a lot of class introductions, and I got a lot of laughs from it. <laughs> so, uh, that's a, that let me know that that's, a, you know, that's a good start. So, um... I have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful show tonight. And, you know, I can't even say enough about this young lady, man. Like, she seriously is doing her thing. And, you know, she, and I'm so blessed to know that, you know, she's access to me, you know, by text or by call. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's how much of an opportunity this is. And, uh, you know, I just want to welcome to the show. Introduce yourself, Kayla. What's going on? Hi, guys. Um... <laughs> right, I kind of helped her out. But yeah, I have Miss Kayla Hang on the show. Now, let me tell you let me tell you something about this girl. I'm telling you, this girl, she's short, but she got a big heart. So, you know, that's one thing I can honestly say about this young lady. Like, she seriously, like, I can just sense that coming from her, you know, the first time when I first met you. I was like, man, this girl is so quiet. I know, I can't help it. Sorry. <laughs> Like I, like, I know that she ain't this quiet, and me, of course, I'm not the quiet type, so, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's like two worlds is kind of like meshing right now, it's, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's wild, so, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Kayla. Um, well, I'm a student at UWM, a sophomore, and I'm a YouTuber as well, so I just post music, covers, originals, so. Okay, um, what's your favorite food? Oh, that's always a tough one. I love all kinds of food, but whenever people ask me that, I have to say Alfredo fettuccine pizza. Woo! How many, how, <laughs> how many pasta fans is out there? Man, I'm a, I'm a pure pasta fan. Are you? Uh, so, yeah. I mean, like, from spaghetti to chicken Alfredo mm -hmm. to anything. Like, I'm telling you, like, pasta is where it's at. Yeah. And, um, funny story about pasta. All right, so... You know, I'm I'm at Olive Garden, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, me and my family, we just we just chilling out, hanging out, and like my mom got so mad at me because she didn't know because I had finished my my chicken alfredo, I was done. But my mom went to the restroom, and I'm thinking this is just a free meal, like, I can just get as much as I want. So I asked the waitress for another plate or another serving of oh. uh, <laughs> of some uh, chicken alfredo, and my mom got so bad because that bill went so high. I was like, "Yep, never again That's am I gonna work." <laughs> yeah, it was like sixteen dollars. Yeah. I was like, "Oh my goodness!" Like, I'm sorry, mom. Look, like, I thought this was like a buffet. You know, she was just like, "It ain't that." <laughs> she was so bad. So, like, what games do you play? Like, what, like, I mean, do you play any games or do you play video games and stuff? No, I used to, but that life is gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> no. But, yeah, no, I don't play any video games anymore. Um, if I do, then it's probably just uh, Guitar Hero or, um, I love Tekken, but we don't have Tekken. I'm so sad, but. That is yes. sad. I love Tekken. <laughs> um, Especially at the arcade, them Tekken games. Oh, I haven't played at the arcade. I'm oh. not that good yet, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, it takes a lot of skill to press those two buttons. It does. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, my goodness. All right, so um, one of the things I like to talk about on the show 
Um, you know, really my main, my three core topics that, that I really love to talk about um, is empowerment, inspiration, and motivation. Mm -hmm. You know, I believe that we live in a culture where um, ignorance is bliss, and we live in a culture where dreams are, you know, are turned into part-time jobs. You know what I'm saying? And me, I'm a huge dreamer. I'm a big dreamer. You know, I have huge goals and expectations for myself. And I want to inspire my fans, viewers, and listeners, you know, that you can see your life bigger than, you know, where you see it is now. You know what I'm saying? And you have a plan and purpose for your life, and you, and you don't have to live in mediocrity. You know what I mean? You can actually get up and do something great with yourself so that the world can notice you. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody inside want to be noticed, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. And um, I just think it's essential that, you know, people talk about these things. So, like, tell me, like, what is, like, your career aspirations? Like, what, like, give me this. Where do you see yourself in five years? Ooh, that's a tough one. Honestly, I, I would love to continue doing music, but um, I would love to do something um, with graphic design. I mean, that is my major. And um, some people know that I did start a charity folding line called uh, Chase the Chaos or CTC Threads. And it would just be awesome to continue that um, and expand on that. So like, it's, like music, my art um, helps create change in the world. Yeah. Uh, so. so tell us a little bit about your clothing line and where can you get it? Um, well, it's no longer um, running at the moment. but. Um, what it was, it was called Chase the Chaos, and that obviously um, stands for, like, um, being that it's a charity line, everything that you buy um, goes to um, this orphanage home in Thailand. It was called the Doi Sak and Peace Home, and um, the concept behind the name is in, with every purchase, you're helping this charity, so you're, like, chasing the chaos away in this world, and that's what we need to get rid of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I can honestly say that that's something I would definitely want to sponsor or partner you with, you know, whenever you get it started. Because I really see, um, like, a lot of the, a lot of, just just a lot of the, um, what are third world countries and a lot of countries that don't really have, like, what America have, go through. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to contribute to something bigger than yourself. Yeah, definitely. Because, um, no, I mean... If you, like, I heard this, a wise man once told me, he said, look, um, you will never know how you, like, you claim like you ain't got shoes, you need to talk to the person, or what, I think he said new shoes or shoes that's used, like, you claim you got shoes that you been had, but you, ain't, you can't really say nothing until you talk to the person who never had shoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, like, you will never know it's real until you go where it's real at, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And... Overseas is like is is it's a lot of it's a lot of things that's happening overseas that I feel as though us as Americans can help contribute mm -hmm. to a little bit you know if not a lot to yeah. a cause to help you know bring more more love compassion and a better you know mm -hmm. environment for those people that's living in areas that isn't as fortunate as us yeah you know and um, you know I hope one day I start my own foundation you know the Simeon <laughs> TV foundation you know yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> featuring Kayla Han, you know how you do a couple songs. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. Um, so, alright. I got a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. How's the love life, though? Oh my. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody want to know <laughs> that. Look, you know what I'm saying? Is Kayla Han single or is Kayla Han not? I am in a relationship and mm -hmm. I am very happy. I am, um, his name is Lee and he's back in my hometown, actually. What up, Lee? <laughs> he should be listening right now, actually. So. Oh, okay, look. What up, Lee, man? I gotta see you, man. Look. <laughs> he remembers you, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're doing great, so. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah. All right, so uh, for for you young men out there that's listening now, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm trying. I'm getting my bodyguard license next week. So. <laughs> so <laughs> oh my goodness. So you know what I'm saying? Lee, man, I got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> All right. So what inspires you to do music? Like, what is something that drives you to do music? Honestly, um, the reason why I continue doing music is um, I strive to write songs that um, 
most people don't write about, like topics. And so um, it's always uh, rewarding when uh, people write like a personal personal letter to me or like a message saying that my music helped them in some way like get through a tough time in their life. And so that's always the motivation that keeps me going. Yeah. So. And I heard a couple of your songs. Now a lot of them is corny. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which I can appreciate because I'm pretty much a corny guy myself. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, I can relate to this song. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, like, what, how, like, do you find yourself doing that more in the future? Like, more corny, like, type, like, you know, really simple songs? Or do you see yourself getting more, you know, complex and, you know, mainstream type, type songs? Um, I would want to say mainstream, but definitely I want to move towards complex because I wrote those corny songs back in like 2010 and oh, wow. when I was a young child. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah, um, a lot of my more recent music, I, mean, I haven't been posting too much, but more more recent originals, they definitely have deeper meanings behind them and they are a little more personal, so mm -hmm. I definitely want to move towards that. And I think personal music is the ones that's most relatable. Like, yeah, you can talk about sex, money, drugs, oh, and yeah. all that, mm -hmm. you know. But if you can relate to your fans mm -hmm. on a more personal level, then that's when I think the realness of your um, career can really start to shine out. Yeah. Because there's a lot of fake careers, you oh, know what yeah. I'm saying? If we look at the industry today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of rappers who ain't never even been shot yeah. <laughs> talking about they've been shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, stop faking. <laughs> you know, and uh, Lecrae did an amazing song yeah, called Yeah, I love that song, actually. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Too, so. Yeah. Like, why are you faking that hard face? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, there's a lot of fake thugs, man. Yeah. But that just goes to show you the oh. the type of imagery that, the, that you know, music today displays mm -hmm. towards people like... The imagery of, you know, I'm going to act like this so I can get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they're so afraid to be themselves mm -hmm. that they might lose their fan base or lose money and stuff like that. So, like, I guess tell me or tell everybody who's listening, like, um, you know, what is your take on music today? You mean, like, like in the industry? Yeah, and, like, um, where, where you, like, where is that now as opposed to, you know... I don't know, however long you were living, like, <laughs> 10 years ago? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I feel like a lot of the more mainstream, like, mainstream music that we know um, is all pretty much the same. Like you mentioned, it's about sex, money, fame, and, like, that kind of stuff. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't find any, like, deep emotions, like, connecting with, connecting with those songs. And so um, that's why I listen to a lot of underground music. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some songs here and there that do come out that um, do really hit home, but um, for the most part, like the majority, it's not all that. Yeah. As much as it used to be, I should say. Right. And cause I used to listen to Wiz Khalifa a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. That was, that was my man. That was my guy. I used to listen to him a lot, like especially when I was like 17 to maybe about like late 19, mm -hmm. you know, Wiz Khalifa and I, his, like, his music was always playing. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I'm, I'm trying to get to a point here. Um, so I was listening to his music. Now, I was never into pot. I was never into smoking weed, anything like that. Mm -hmm. You know, before I started listening to Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then I started with listening to Wiz Khalifa, you know, and, you know, like, uh, Black and Yellow, like, you know, that song, yeah, like, you yeah. know, I'm like, okay, yeah, I can feel it, dude, you know, he, he, I don't know where he, I don't know where he from, but, you know, he's not from here, but cool. Yeah. So that was me. And then, you know, the more I listened to him, and then, it, I guess you can kind of say, like, the music almost, like, led me to a crowd of people who listened to all the same music I did, but they smoked weed, too. So I was noticing that, or I, when I look back, I didn't notice it then, obviously, but when I look back, the music that I was listening to drew me to the type of crowd that, you know, uh, followed after that, you know, type of genre scene. Yeah. And they said, you know, I'm smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then now it's like, every time when I listen to it's Cleaver, guess what I got to do? I got to go get hot. Mm -hmm. You know, I got to go smoke some weed. So... I think music holds a huge responsibility to what influences us oh, yeah, um, sure. today. And like, what do you hope to do with your music as far as influencing people? Like, what do you hope to strive that your fans 
take from you know the, the music that you make? Um, honestly, I just want to like have a positive influence on them. Even even if the song is depressing and doesn't have a happy ending, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But at least at least in the moment, for while they listen to that song, they can relate and understand that I understand what they've been through. If that makes sense, in a sort of um, weird way, it's like I'm there with them while they're going through that hard time. So mm -hmm. I'm, I just want a positive influence and I don't have any negative influences in my songs or any like bad connotations in my music at all. So Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. And that's one of the things that drew me to your music. Because, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, when I started looking up Kayla Hang, I was <laughs> like, man, look, let me go see some of this stuff. And then... Um, I, I'm trying to think of the song. I'm on YouTube right now, and I'm really trying to think of the song that um, that that I really like the most. Um, I think it was either "All for You" uh, original, or it was "Selfish with Love." One of those two songs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, cause I'm a I'm a pretty selfish guy. You know what I'm saying? When it comes down to relationships and things like that, like I'm a pretty selfish I think guy. We all are. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I like to, I you know, I like to, you know, spread the wealth in the sense of like, you know, yeah, this is her, you know, what I'm saying, go ahead, talk, you can talk to her, but you know, what I'm saying, watch out now, you know, what I'm saying, I got my eye, I got, I got a good friffio, you know, what I mean, <laughs> that's me, and I really think that um, one of your songs out of those two really hit home to me. You know, and that's what made me go to other songs. I listened mm -hmm. to the other song, like, okay, maybe she got some other songs that, you know, I can start feeling too. Yeah. You know, and I really like the fact that... ...you're signed with, but the one I'm signed with doesn't have any um, requirements. Mm -hmm. Basically, I just post videos whenever I want to, and so since it's by view, like, I could quit YouTube and still have my channel up and still get paid. So I mean it's pretty nice. Yeah. But I mean obviously the view or the money would probably go down, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. It don't matter. Don't <laughs> yeah. The money. Of course. Um I hope that you don't cancel it though. You know, I still got some more uh, music to watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I plan to have it when I'm old. So <laughs> <laughs> old and married. You'll see my kids on there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look. <laughs> Kayla Hang uh, version one, two, three, four. four. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so, you know, we 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 went over like your favorite food and stuff like that. We both yeah. like I, we're on the same page. We both like you know Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things that I really like to talk about too, and then we'll go to break, yeah. is I really like talking about um, you know God. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't say it enough, man. Yeah. Like, anybody who listened to my show mm -hmm. all the way up to this point know that I'm, I'm pretty much unashamed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that at the end of the day, you know, God is what got me here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it don't make no sense to get not give him credit for, you know, the yeah. thing that he's done. So, like, how important to you, especially with your music career, is God? Oh, he's definitely a big part of it. I mean, <laughs> obviously, I wouldn't be where I am today without him. And, um... He's he's always there, you know. <laughs> and I mean that right. I mean that in the best way possible. Uh -huh. I mean, you don't want him to not be there. If that right. Makes sense. Yeah, and so, like every opportunity, every opportunity that I'm given is definitely um, a blessing. And um, yeah, like I've I've even written a song about him. I have an original um, called Masterpiece, and it's um, basically talking about that. Um, that he, the desire of us wanting him to shape us into this masterpiece that he has in mind. So yeah. I mean, definitely, it's a big part of me and my music. So that's cool. Yeah, it's not too many, uh, you know, artists that you know worship God in mm -hmm. the kind of way that you do. You know what I'm saying? Like they they mention God's name, but they only do it for the fame. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. God is a God is using His name in vain is a good pickup line. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. artists is using their music only to get something out of vain glory, like you know, money, chains, cars. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And you know, a lot of the music, honestly, I had to cut out. You know, I had to yeah. cut out a lot of music that I was listening to because um, I just got sick of 
you know, musicians using his name in vain. Oh, yeah. You know, like, the more you grow closer to God, like, the more you start to really get to know God, you'll start to hate the things that he hates. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you, you <laughs> really... Too, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And he hates a lot of things that we do either by, you know, um, pure will or not knowing it, you know. And the more you stay connected with him, you know, the more I stay connected with him, I start to notice that, you know, he really do care about a lot of people, a lot of things, stuff like that. But he also hate a lot of things, too. You know what I'm saying? He hate, a, he hate lying. He hate murder. He hate blasphemy. He hates those things. Yeah. And it's crazy. I was doing those things, you know, and didn't even know it mm -hmm. you know so for those of you guys that's listening right now and don't know God I suggest that uh, you hop on me and Kayla's train because uh, <laughs> our train automatically is only going up you know what I'm saying right yeah she shook her head right oh I suggest, <laughs> I suggest. <laughs> um, so we're going to go to commercial break um, so Kayla what song do you think I should play for your fans best of luck was a pretty popular one I okay. gotta warn you, it's depressing, but okay. <laughs> it's Look. one of their favorites. <laughs> that was one above here. I got wow. Yeah. So how did it feel? Let me ask you this real quick. How did it feel to know that you got a song that almost did three hundred thousand views? I've actually had a couple videos reach over a million already, but they're what? Yeah, they're taken down for copyright reasons with my contract, but that's a different story. Um, oh, wow. But just being that it's my original. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I have a music video out for it too, and I mean, mm -hmm. like, people just love it. <laughs> and that means so much to me. Can know? people see it? Oh, yeah. It's, just type it, Kayla Hang Best of Luck Music Video. It would probably be the first video. Oh, the, oh, they, why, did, why did they take it down? For, cause, oh, like, you mean the. Oh, this is too much view, so we got to take it down. <laughs> like that? No, and with my contract that I'm signed with, um, the content creator. I'm only able to do um, songs that are published through UMPG, which is Universal Music Publishing Group. Mm -hmm. So um, those covers that I did that reached a million views weren't under UMPG, so they had to be privated. They're not deleted, but they're privated. Oh, so wow. no one can view them except for me. Okay, I'm going to have to view it. You want to be able to show me or is that? Or yeah, that I, I will be able to show you through my account. Okay, bet. But it's not public, so. Okay, cool. Yeah. I get an exclusive look, y'all. I'm excited. <laughs> look, it feels good to be sitting on TV. Look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to we're gonna play Best of Luck by Kayla Hang. Bang, bang. Don't cry. Don't cry. Hold it in. Look, <laughs> 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 I'm getting a little teary out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't play it. See, that was that was like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Come They basically have no say in what um, they can do, basically. The husband takes control of everything, and the woman is like the caretaker of the house. She stays home, and she cooks, and she cleans, and she does all the housework, mm. and the husband goes out to work and stuff like that. So, and I mean, it's really difficult back in like Laos and Thailand, especially for the very traditional Hmong people. Um, that's going out to Laos? Um, I am not... I don't know the numbers, honestly, mm -hmm. but um, I can definitely get that info out there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but hopefully, um, I mean, the last benefit concert that I performed at did did really well. So, mm -hmm. I'm I'm not doubting that this one will do the same. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's what's up. I'm yeah. glad you're doing that. Yeah. Because that's one of my that's one of the topics of my show too is mm -hmm. empowerment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I really believe that um, you know, especially women. You know, even in even here in America, you know, mm -hmm. some some women are classified as second class. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. And it, I can only imagine out in Laos. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's good to know that it is people that still care about women's rights. It is yeah. people that still care about 
you know, women being, you know, actually treated as human beings, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, in society. Because we ain't living in the 20s no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not living back <laughs> back in that decade, man. Yep. I mean, even though they wore suits all day for the fellas, you know, I, that's the only thing I wish I was selling. I was <laughs> born in the 20s, folks. I'd be wearing suits all day. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had a suit on now. <laughs> but I think that is is awesome to know that, especially someone like your age too. You know, how old are you? I'm 20. Yeah, seeing you <laughs> accomplish so much, you know, just at the age of 20. I can only imagine 10 years from now, five <laughs> years from now. That's hope. Yes. You know what I mean? And like, I'm like, man, a round of applause, like for real. You know what I'm saying? You, and Sonia. I just think that it's it's cool to see young people. You know what I mean? I know I talk like I'm old. I'm only 22, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, it's just good to see us young folks. Let me put it that way. Yes, it's us. good to see us us young people, you know, um, doing things for God and doing things to help uh, inspire and to strive um, and to help other people, you know, better to better their lives and, and their situations. You know, and I just think that it's good to, you know, be a shining light, you know, be a salt you know, in this world because we live in a world full of darkness. Mm -hmm. You know, we live in a world where a lot of people is confused, you know, confused about where to go, confused about their gender, yeah. confused about, I mean, a lot of these things that really God made simple, clear, and plain. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But because a lot of people kind of fell away from that, so they can't help but to be confused. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? So individuals like us who have, who know God, you know what I'm saying, who mm -hmm. can... Uh, inspire people to get to know God. I mean, we have to basically be an example or a shining light for those who fell away and for those who don't know. Yeah. And to empower, you know, and to inspire and motivate, you know what I'm saying, yeah. everybody to to really do things that, you know, makes them happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. me, I don't want to work for Walmart for 10 years. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, life is too short to make another person rich. Life is too short to you know, fulfill somebody else's dream and not fulfill your own. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And for those of you that's listening right now, like, if you don't know your purpose, find your passion because your passion will lead you to your purpose. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, like, if, if you love, if your passion is dancing, look, your purpose is most likely dancing. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? So, there's a lot of things that God wants to do with you personally, the viewer that's listening, that you just give him a chance. If you give him a shot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kayla and I did. We're doing great things. But who, I mean, I can only imagine what he can do with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, just imagine if you gave your life over to God and you decided to say, hey, look, I'm here. You know, take me as I am. You know, you're the potter. I'm the clay. Mold me your way. You know what I'm saying? And once when you do that, God is like, cool, we got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Heaven is rejoicing. And the next thing oh, you yeah. know, you on TV and you're doing 80 million views on something. I'm like, <laughs> we're now. I got to get them on my radio show right now. <laughs> and hopefully you can say, yeah, man, I was listening to Simeon TV radio, man. He, man, man, he made me you know, think. You know, I'm going to be like, yeah, that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> so um, I know I promise everybody who's viewing I promise. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It, I think Kayla knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she knows. You know what I'm saying? I got my wonderful cameraman. Look, this is what we're going to do, man. We got everything that's um, that's talked about here is going to be on video. What I'm going to do, I'm going to edit it as soon as possible. I'm going to put it up on my YouTube page. And then I'm going to try to get the link to you, Kayla, so you can put it on yours. You know what I'm saying? And then you actually get to see everything transpire firsthand. You know, and then you actually get to see the performance too, live. <laughs> so right now you're going to get to hear it live though. And whoever's streaming online right now, you actually get to see it streaming, you know, on our little uh, ratchet uh, web <laughs> webcam. <laughs> so, um, you know, as Kayla's getting ready and she's preparing herself.
too. Girl, you better come on next time I... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna need you to perform, girl. Stevens Point. Oh, wow. Which is in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, yeah, so they get to hear you. Man, they get to hear you sing. How many people gonna be there, you think? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe over a hundred? Mm. Okay. At least a hundred? Well, you know, look, there's a hundred people that's gonna be blessed by your voice. Oh, thanks. Um, so once again, Kayla, thank you for coming on. Oh, Thank you for having me on. I mean, <laughs> this is such an honor. So, uh, so um, any social media that you want to throw out there? Um, YouTube, just YouTube my name, Kayla Hang, K-A-Y-L-A-H-A-N-G. Um, if you want to follow my Instagram, I mean, all it is is my face. <laughs> but <laughs> that'll be just at Kayla Hang, too. And Twitter is at Kayla Hang 16. And, yeah, you can find my fan page on Facebook, too. It's just my name, Kayla Hang. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> Hey, don't be bashful. Follow this girl. She's say going places. Say hi. Say hi. I don't bite. I'm pretty shy myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, so like she said, don't be bashful. You yes. know, say hi. Say what you, you know, don't be, don't be scared. You know, <laughs> in, in Milwaukee terms, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to shout out to my, shout out to my uh, cameraman, uh, Mwang Lee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> say something, man. What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's working the camera today, man. I really appreciate him taking his time out to, you know, work the camera and to record this segment. Um, and I know I had a little techno technical difficulty earlier, but I fixed it. So I hope you guys were able to catch at least the last two minutes of Kayla's performance. <laughs> um, so how about this? You know, because of that technical difficulty, how about you sing us out? Okay. How about you sing us out? Sing you know, we're gonna, we're gonna close the song with Kayla Hang, you guys. So how about you sing us out? What you gonna do for us? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'll sing Cheap Date by right. Latia. It's a cover, so. All right, cool. Go ahead, sister. You got this. I gotta remember how it starts. cheap date no i was kidding but you know <laughs> <laughs> all right so thank you guys for tuning in to simeon tv radio this is simeon and i'm signing out thank you kayla hank for coming on the show thank and bless you for me. having me <laughs> you know what I'm saying shout out to my cameraman once again and yeah, yeah. Uh, stay blessed not stressed okay and remember if god before you who can be against you we gone <laughs>